have a difficult situation here. We've now encountered significant invasion. So we're going to put a tattoo, uh, and that will form a marker for our colleagues when they go in to remove this end block in a radical fashion. So I'll show the technique of how we place a tattoo. So now we will inject and create a submucosal blood with a normal injecting solution. Need a lot. Inject. Inject. Stop, stop. So the needle stays out now. Just change your ceiling. So we're going to use a tattoo now. Black eye, which gives a very good tattooing. And now I'll put my needle back into this blood and inject the tattoo. So just inject 2 ml, please. Stop, 2 ml? Yeah, just short 2 ml. Okay. Okay, and now change the syringe back to the normal injecting solution and keep the needle out. Yeah. And inject 2 ml. And now we'll do exactly similar tattoo on the other side. So can we empty the catheter first? Yes, inject. So that we get all the tattoo out. Need a lump. Inject, please. Inject. Stop. Stop. And change to tattoo. Inject. Inject 10. 2 ml. Inject 10. 2 ml. Okay. okay. Change over and flush another 2 ml with our flushing solution. Inject 10. 2 ml. Give Okay. One more ml. One more. And stop. Yeah. Stop. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Get up. So we got two tattoos diagonally opposite to each other. They're a little bit bigger than what I would normally want, but in, if the patients are going for a radical resection, then it doesn't really matter. So uh, a submucosal lift followed by tattoo uh, on the inner side. And we'll put this in the report so there will be no confusion. Thank you.